me and some friends are at a diner, eating, laughing, having a good time. When all of a sudden, you see a swarm of zombies headed towards the diner. What do you do? How many in a swarm? Let's say eight. I don't think eight could be classified as a swarm. Okay, not a swarm then. Mm, a dozen or so. Pulls it a dozen or so? Because it's a dozen. We... A dozen. Twelve. Twelve zombies. Six boys, six girls. What am I eating? Oh my god, why does that matter? It matters. Did I eat something and I'm stuffed and I have to unbutton my pants? I need to know how fast I'm going to move in this situation. You had a cheeseburger and fries. No to unbuttoning the pants and you finished eating about 10 minutes ago. What did I have for dessert? A hot fudge sundae with a cherry on top. I don't like cherries. Okay, pie. You had pie. What flavor? Apple pie. Are we in a booth or a table? Booth. Where am I sitting in the booth? On the inside next to me. How close are we to the entrance? About 100 feet. Now, are these walking dead, slow, dumbass zombies? Or fast-moving Resident Evil motherfuckers. They're pretty dumb, so they wouldn't be able to open a door. But they're fairly fast, so they just come right through the glass. I would throw my glass at Tom's head. Who's Tom? Tom, our friend. He's sitting across from me. OK, pay attention. I would throw my glass at Tom's head. I would take my plate, use it as a boomerang to hit Sally in the face. Then I would grab a straw, stab you in the throat with it, right in the soft part. Yeah, it would go right through there. Then I would throw you on the floor while you're bleeding because that would distract some of the zombies. I would then jump out of the booth, injuring some other customers on my way, make my way to the kitchen, get to the ceiling, and escape. Yeah. You would stab me in the throat with a straw? It's not personal. Anybody could be sitting next to me. You're supposed to help people! Fight the zombies! I don't know how I'd react in this situation. I've never been in anything like this before. This is clearly a time to cite survival of the fittest. What is this, a court of law? Everything is a court of law. Then I object to being stabbed in the throat and thrown on the floor for zombie bait! You can object all you want, but when shit goes down, there's a 98.6% chance that that's exactly what's going to happen. If it makes you feel any better, I'd feel really bad for stabbing you in the throat, throwing you on the floor, and leaving you to become zombie excrement. I'm done with this conversation. You're overreacting. <sighs> Come on. Zombies aren't real, and we're already dead. So now you're just going to ignore me. It's not going to last. I give it 32 minutes tops. You can't stand not talking to me. So would you really feel bad? I knew it. What? You couldn't last 32 minutes. That was way longer than 32 minutes. That was 7 minutes and 18 seconds. You don't know that. You don't even have a watch. I counted. You were counting. You bet your ass I counted. Of all the people to be stuck in a room with, I get you. I'm pretty sure this is hell. Yep. It's exactly what this is. Hell. I have died and gone to hell. I'm your personal hell.
That's amazing. I wish I had something to throw at you right now. Even if you could throw it at me, it'd go right through me. You know, ectoplasm. What did I do to deserve this? What didn't you do to deserve this? Any other ghost girl would be lucky to be in a room with someone like me. I'm a fantastic partner for eternity. God, this better not be eternity. I would love to be stuck with me for eternity. 